This is the timeline by Strymon. This is what they call a multi-dimensional delay unit. Uh, so called, I guess, because it's got 12 different delay units in it, 12 different delay machines. I read recently that this is one of the most versatile delay units on the market today. And that got me thinking, versatile. I wonder how versatile this really is. All right, so what do we got? Let's take a closer look. Firstly, delay types. There's definitely a lot of options. There's your standard digital delay, your bucket delay, analog style delay, tape delay emulators, even delays with uh, octaves in them so that you get a really cool icy type effect going on. So that's definitely a tick for versatility. Now that's another plus. Because of its solid metal construction, comes in real handy as a paperweight. Now in terms of syncing in with your band, syncing into a click or something like that, you can either tap yourself in, you can preset the tempo in BPM or milliseconds and banks up and down. So you can save it, recall it later on command. That is a very versatile feature set. Yeah, and then I told him if I see him there again tomorrow, I'm gonna have to talk to his manager. Yeah. Oh, so as a coaster, it doesn't work. Now another great feature of this pedal is the filter section. Now it can take your delay repeats from sounding very clean, very pure, into something much darker, less clean. I wonder what else it can filter out. Right, if it can't filter out water, I wonder if it can filter light. Let's try some light. Oh, that's a pretty good job. I think you can say it definitely filtered 100% of the light that hit it. Now one of my personal favorites on this pedal is the ice machine. Now what this does is it takes the signal you put in and repeats them, but it adds an octave higher, or it can add two octaves higher, in fact. It can also add octaves lower, and even a fifth in between. Something like this. Perfect for just laying down a nice foundation for somebody else to play a lead on top of. But as an actual ice machine, Rubbish. Come on. What if I turn these? Now this has also got a pretty good feature where you can use the stereo inputs and outputs and turn them into an input and a feedback loop. So you could actually take an input into the pedal and run the output out to something else, another effects unit maybe, another amp, and then send it back into the pedal and it will reprocess it. But when it comes to feedback that's actually useful, like opinions on your soloing, you're out of luck, sorry. What you think of that then? What you think of that pedal? Any thoughts? Any feedback? Hey? Eh? Nothing to say. All right, all jokes aside though, this is a fantastic unit. Extremely versatile, at least in a musical sense. Definitely one of my go-to pedals for delays. Now, if you're using delays in your playing and you haven't checked this pedal out, why not? It's a fantastic unit. Each one of its delay units also is completely configurable. Every minute detail of them is completely adjustable and saveable so you can recall them with presets. Presets are all easily recallable as well with just a push of a button. Or if you've got a MIDI switcher or a MIDI controller of some sort, it's got MIDI capabilities so you can preset everything and let the MIDI controller do the work for you. And lastly, it's built like a rock. Okay, even though I said it's built like a rock, I'm not gonna do that to it. Other than that, definitely check it out. The Strymon Timeline Delay Unit.
If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button below so you can stay tuned for more great content like this. Well, that'll do it for today. See you next time.